what's up? My name is Luke Klepsch and I am a harmonica player and musician on the Big Island here back with you for another harmonica tutorial. Hey, I want to say thank you to all of you who have been subscribing to my channel and leaving comments. It means so much to me and I'm doing this for you. It's because of your guys' feedback that I'm continuing to take the time to do this stuff. So I'm glad you're uh, finding it helpful. And what I want to go over right now is like I played that little lick there at the beginning. You're going to be able to do stuff like that um, after this tutorial because you already learned a couple videos ago, number 13, I went over the blue scale, one octave of the blue scale in cross harp from the number two hole draw to the number six blow. Okay, so now there's a little bit more, and that is uh, on the two draw going down to the one blow. And what we're playing there, uh, the two draw is the root, if we're going to speak in terms of intervals. The hole on the harmonica of the two draw is the root. And we're going to bend that down a whole step. That's going to get us the next step lower, which in the blue scale is a minor seventh. Then we're going to slide over on the harmonica to the one draw. And that is the interval of the perfect fifth in the scale. We are going to pull that down a half step. We're going to bend that down, the one draw, to be on the tritone. And then we're going to be on the one blow, which will be the perfect fourth of the scale. Uh, like we talked about in the last tutorial, looking over the 12 bar blues, we know that the one draw is the five and the one blow is the four. Um, <clears throat> so that's the bottom octave. It's bottom, it's like a half octave, but those are the bottom notes of the blue scale and cross harp. So to play them an octave up would be on the six blow, the five draw, five draw bent down, and five blow, I believe. Let me see if I just said that right. No. Six blow, sorry, five draw, four draw, four draw bent down, and four blow. Sounds like this. That's what we went over in the last video. And now we're going to do it an octave lower on the two draw. The two draw bent down a, a whole step. Again, we got to make sure we're getting that bent down a whole step. You don't want it to sound like this. You got to get it all the way down to. Then the one draw. The one draw bent down. And the one blow which is the root of the, that's the four, okay, in the scale, or the four chord. Okay, so we have, if we, if we play that together, let's play it going down from the two draw to the one blow and then back up, okay? And I forgot to mention again, I'm playing here a C harp, as always. So two draw, bend down, one draw, bend down, one blow. One draw bent down, one draw released, two draw bent down, two draw released. Let's do it again. Okay, cool. Now, <clears throat> if we put that together with the blue scale that we went over in video number 13, what, what, the way that I would practice it is start on the two draw, go up to the six blow, back to the two draw, down to the one blow, and then back up to the two draw. So, and I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I did in, the, uh, in that sort of opening lick that I did for you. So practicing the blue scale, some people maybe would find it a little bit boring, but it's... Uh, really good exercise in just um, getting your dexterity or your agility to move around the harmonica and the blues idiom and you're going to be able to start coming up with licks and making up cool things based uh, on things that you just stumble into while you're practicing it. So I think it's a great exercise. So let's do this from two draw up to six blow all the way down to one blow and then back up and ending on the two draw. Ready?
Six blow again. Okay, so it's great to practice it at that speed, and once you've practiced it a lot at that speed, then we'll try it maybe twice as fast, okay? could try um, like twice as fast as that. Okay, now I'm playing these notes pretty legato, which means that all the notes are kind of connected. Um, each note is long. Another way that you can practice it, which I really would recommend, when I started doing this, <clears throat> it really, it really started increasing a lot of the expressiveness which in, with which I was able to play. And that's make, trying to make the notes very staccato. And the best way to do that is I like to put my tongue against the hole and remove it like I'm saying tut, but tut, 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 tut. So it's like I'm taking my tongue off of the hole and then putting it right back on there to block. So it's like <laughs> So you can really make it short. <laughs> oh. It's really hard to do that on those low bends, on the two draw and on the one draw. It's really hard to get that bent down and do it really short like that. Another way that you could practice the scale is doing it like that, but you could do two, um, like tut tut, like Okay, so these are some different ideas of things that you can play around with. Um, one last thing that I'm going to show you, I I'm kind of went over this one time before in an outro lick, but another nice thing, there's different patterns that I've mentioned before that you can take through the scale, which is a really great exercise. You could take, uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll go over three different patterns. One would be going through a group of three notes. So you, you, you'd play for the, through the first three notes of the blues scale. Then you're going to start on the second note and play the second, third, and fourth notes of the blues scale and keep moving up like that and then we'll reverse it coming back down like this. Then. 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 I'm sorry about that. Then. Now coming back down. Start. Continuing down. Going back up. No. And that's really doing an exercise like that, that like that is really gonna increase your uh, agility going through the scale. And it sounds cool. You can actually use that type of uh, pattern when you're soloing. If when you speed it up, it's like You know, those things are actually usable. Or four notes, same thing, but instead of three, it would be four, it would be like this. I'm just gonna do it fast for time's sake because this video is getting a little long already. You 
you know, that, those are things you can do. Okay, the last one is you go from the first note to the second note and back to the first note, okay? Then you start on the second note. You go from the second note to the third note and back to the second note. Then you go to the third note. You go from the third note to the fourth note and back to the third note, okay? And you take that, that's a really good one. If, if I'm gonna start it on the one draw uh, and do it quickly. Okay, so let's do it really slowly one time together and then <clears throat> we'll call it a day for the blue scale practicing. Now let's start on the sixth blow, coming back down. Now I'm um, starting on one blow, coming back up. Okay, so that's a lot of really good stuff. You guys are really moving into the intermediate phase here on the harmonica. You, if you can play that whole blues scale top to bottom and start coming, um, playing some patterns through it and stuff like that, um, really good stuff to be doing. Okay, so again, my name is Luke Klepsch. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, if I went too quickly, you need me to slow something down, whatever it is, send a comment. I'll try and, uh, I'll try and accommodate, okay? Thanks for watching.